some of the tactics that are going to help you get an algorithmic boost is live streaming, more video, and engaging with stories. All of these have video at the center. So going live gives the public a sense of urgency, a sense of immediacy. And we saw that right throughout COVID-19, that when your government, your prime minister, your president, your Taoiseach stepped on to the steps of government buildings, they had something important to say, and that was live stream. Similarly, within your agency, you can use live streaming to great effect. The real value in a live stream isn't always in the real time broadcast, but in fact, it's the immediate 24 hours after that live stream ends. So you have to think about the overall value that live streaming is going to provide for you. We also now don't need to hire studios or have film crews to go live. A smartphone, an internet connection, and also perhaps a lapel mic or a tripod might help you with that. But we really, really have a great opportunity now with the social networks to have a one-to-one -one and a one-to-many conversation with the public at large out there. Most of the social networks offer live streaming right now. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, LinkedIn, they all offer that as a way to have a direct conversation with the public. Let's then go to native video. Native video refers to when you upload video directly to an individual social network. People retain information better with a video. In fact, it can be as high as 80% more. You are also competing with traditional media, with retail brands, with sports brands, with celebrities and with other influencers. So you really have to turn your content into highly engaging content and video will help you. There are numerous types of videos that you can deploy. You can do interview, you can do an explainer, you can do a how to. So don't let video scare you. You have to go front of screen. I always ask my clients this question. If your national broadcaster was to show up and offer you a two minute slot on a main evening news bulletin, would you take it? By and large, they say yes. But now you can be the creator and the journalist for your own organization. The third aspect to videos that I want to touch on then are stories. Stories or ephemeral content or self-deleting content was born on Snapchat very quickly emulated and copied by Instagram. And then they were introduced to Facebook, to Twitter as fleets, and also to LinkedIn, to YouTube, and even to Spotify. Stories are about personalization. You cannot fully embrace stories on any of those social networks unless and until you have a social reporter. What's a social reporter, I hear you ask? A social reporter is the person that's going to go front of screen on stories on that smartphone and tell you what's happening, bring you on a journey, walk and talk, show you what's happening, bring you inside the corridors of power, into those boardrooms, into those sessions in Parliament. We cannot now singularly rely on mainstream media to tell the story to the public. We have to realize that the public expect those stories to be shared with them directly from you. And I promise you, stories will give you greater reach, greater engagement.